Good morning guys. It is a beautiful day out. Well, not really. It's kind of cloudy. But I'm just picking up some more. Wow, there is a bumblebee up here. Awesome. I didn't think we got any bees up here, but there's a bumblebee in those flowers. Cool. That one could have went a little bit longer, but oh well. It can ripen in the house. But these bumblebee tomatoes, guys, they are delicious. I recommend, if you like a sweeter tomato, I recommend these ones because they are delightful. And they're so beautiful. And they are so many. This plant broke off and I'm afraid to really put it back up because I'm afraid that it's going to crack off. So I'm just going to leave it. It seems to be getting water. It's not drooping and it's been like that for a couple days now. So I'm going to pick some of these off too. And we're going to have some cherry tomatoes with our breakfast this morning. He's doing his job. So this day is kind of warm, kind of muggy. It's in the lower 70s. I guess that's not warm to some of you, but it's kind of warm for me because it's muggy. And I have to run to the store to get dog food because I'm totally out. But I drank my coffee already, and I'm just collecting these for some breakfast. I don't know if I'll eat breakfast before I go into town or after I get back. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'm making some boiled eggs this morning for breakfast just before, so I can eat before I go into town because it is 10 o'clock already. And I just put this in like cold water or whatever comes out of the faucet at the time without warming or cooling it off. And then I set the stove to eight. And I just now turned that on and then I set my timer for 13 minutes. And that is perfect done eggs for me. When that buzzer rings off, this will be all ready to go. All right, guys, here is my breakfast. So I have tomatoes and then three hard boiled eggs. And let's just cut open one of these eggs. So let's just cut one of these open and see how that 13 minutes did. Perfect. So that is like perfectly done egg for me. It's still a little bit, you know, it's not all the way hard at all. I love those types of eggs. So zero points for breakfast this morning. I'm getting ready to head out and I thought I better change my shirt. And I just thought I'd show you guys a shirt. This is a newer one and I got it during the year I was gone. So I didn't get a chance to show you, but it says to all the books I've loved before Luna. Oh, Luna. She knows I'm going somewhere. You, you want to go bye-bye? You can go bye-bye with mama. Yeah. You're not going bye-bye. Yeah, you're not going bye-bye either. But you can because you're tiny and you sleep behind my head. All right. So anyway, this is a reference to, to all the boys I've loved before. Sweet, sweet book. It was so cute. And there's like a, a second part to it. And I haven't read that yet, but I really want to. So if you need a lighthearted book to all the boys I've loved before, it's a really cute book. But I'm... I just need that sometimes to snap out of my psychological thriller. I am a psychological thriller reader. If there is anything I love more is a good psychological book, the more psychological it is, the better I love it. And I do love a good horror book too, sometimes. But the psychological thrillers are amazing. And I just recently learned I really love historical fiction as well. So we're going to finish getting ready, huh, Luna? Yeah? You can go bye-bye? Yeah, you can go bye-bye. Sorry, Miley, you can't go. Let those mongrels out before I take off. Hi, kitty. Like, really, really watching me. She's like, are you coming in this car or not? Oh, hi there, kitty cat. Hello. Hello. You are such a sweet boy. You are such a sweet boy. 
you know, I left the house before and he was up here just laying and chilling. Well, I thought he'd jump off and I thought he jumped off backwards. And so I went to grandma's house and here he was on the roof of the car yet. So now I have to make sure that he gets off the car. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. You guys are the sweetest little kitties. Where's Atlas? Is he out hunting? So guys, I'm heading out. I have to pick up some dog food. I was trying to, it is Friday and it is, did I tell you what date it was? August 6th. And I've been trying to wait to get dog food until tomorrow. Today, they wouldn't get fed for dinner and I just can't do that. So I forced to go into town, no matter how hard I tried making this food last, I'm forced to go into town and get some dog food. The reason that we didn't get it sooner is because the day that we went in they happened to be closed so we weren't able to pick it up then and i've got you on the road because there's so many times that i've seen little babies running around little deer babies and ducklings and i just thought if i am aiming the camera at the road we may get a shot at that that i can share with you luna still hasn't settled down she's sitting like right next to me and she usually goes back behind my neck like by the time we get on the freeway so I thought I would take you along and talk to you a little bit about where I'm at so far now I could have definitely come really close to falling off track again those couple days that I did not track well, actually, there's only one date that I didn't actually track. And if I look back, I could probably figure out what exactly I had. When I do that, just getting back on track for like a month, it is pretty triggering for me. I found out. So I learned a lesson here that I really should not be doing that at this time. Now, when I'm on my plan, like when I was on my plan for, gosh, I don't know how many a year, two years, back when I first started filming this channel, back when I was constantly tracking, that wasn't an issue because I could jump right back on track the next day and be totally fine. But now that I've only been on it for a month, it's not that easy to get just jump right back in it. If I didn't track the entire time I didn't post this the video for like the past four days, if I didn't track those four days, I would have definitely fallen off track. It's a good lesson to learn. And it's something that I'm definitely going to write down because sometimes you don't remember. You don't remember those times. Or you try to make excuses for them. I just really wanted to talk to you a little bit about what that felt like to me. And if you guys are in the same situation, don't allow yourself to not track. Even if you do go off plan, track it and then move on just so you can see how it affects you. I am going to run into Dollar General real quick to get myself a diet soda. I had planned this diet soda. Usually when I go into town, I have a diet soda or a coffee or both because I may stop at Starbucks. And I try, I've been trying to park further away from the stores again which is helpful because I get more steps in. Although I haven't been going into any stores except for this one, pretty much. Um, I'm trying to locate my mask here. I guess I just wear the black one today. I'm gonna leave my camera on just so you guys can see how, I wanna see how Luna acts while I'm in the store. So I'm gonna head in and I'll be back in just a minute, guys.
Luna. Hi, baby girl. Okay, so I got a Diet Dr. Pepper. I take off my mask. I got a Diet Dr. Pepper. I got a cream soda for Nick because I promised him. And then I got a pack of gum. So that's all I got. Oh, the gum was only a dollar. Not bad. Okay, so we're going to... Okay, so I'm going to tell you. I almost got... I almost got a DVD in there. Let me flip you around so you can see. Okay, so... Luna, she's behind my neck already. And I haven't put on my seatbelt yet. So when I was in there, I really, really wanted to get a little bag of chips. I'm like, well, it's five points. The smaller rig, of course, because I learned my lesson the hard way with the two and a half serving thing. So, and then I'm like, nope, talk myself out of that. And then I saw this DVD in there, Guardian of the Galaxy, and it was Blu-ray, and it was on sale for $9. Well, my son loves Galaxy of the Gar Guardian of the Galaxy, and I was going to get it for him. And I'm like, you know what? We have been budgeting so hard. So we have been using YNAB. It's called You Need a Budget. And I just realized I didn't have my mic on. So let me grab my mic. I'm coming. I'm coming. So I realized I didn't have my mic on. And you guys may or may not have heard me from a distance. Um, anyway, I'm kind of excited to see what Luna did while I was gone in there. So, so we're using, you need a budget and we have paid off pretty much $50,000 worth of stuff, of bills, just like credit card bills and car payments and, or car to pay off our car and that sort of thing. It wasn't any school loans or anything like that. So it was, it was a huge amount for us. I think it's been about seven months now that we've actually had everything paid off. And it's been amazing, <laughs> to say the least. And the only way we could have done this so well is because of YNAB. And I don't, I do not get paid to say that. We don't get any benefit from this. We don't, we are not sponsored by them or anything like that. We just use their app. And I'm telling you guys, it is the best app. It is amazing. And I have to tell you, when we first started it, and we first got everything in there, we didn't like it. We just, we couldn't get, we couldn't get it. Like, we didn't spend enough time getting to know the app and how to use it. So we just couldn't really enjoy it, I guess. But then we started watching all of the YNAB videos and there is a ton of them out there. And we learned how to use the app. It is, it is not user friendly. I have to say, but it's getting better. It is getting better, easier to use. The, the main thing that really caught us and that really sold us on this app is how they use the credit card system. Now what you do, like, like now, and I'll show you, I'll show you a little clip here. I've got a fake budget set up where none of the numbers are real. And so Corey said that I could share that, of course, with you guys. I just wanted a way to share how we do things on YNAB just so you guys can get a feel for what happens. It's amazing. It is just amazing. And so I purchased these things on my debit card and, or on my, I purchased these things on my credit card. And what, what I do then is I just go into the app and tell the app, hey, I purchased this on my credit card. This needs to get paid off. And I'll show you exactly what happens and explain it when I, when I, do that. I'll do the screenshot of it so you guys can really get a feel for it. But it is just amazing. We love it. And I highly, highly recommend if you guys are struggling or not to get this budget app and try it, give it a try. You get a free month and you don't even have to add your credit card information to that. So you get a free month for nothing. I mean, it's worth it. It's worth a shot. But really, Honestly, don't let that month slip away from you. Really put your efforts into it and 
do the best you can with it. And actually, the best thing to do is link it to your checking account. It's totally safe, 100% safe. We've been using it for a long time now. Never, ever had an issue. All the people that we know have never had an issue with anything with their bank account. And some people have been using it since like 2012 or something. No issues at all. And the, the reason why I say to link it is because if you forget to track something, we track religiously. Every time we go to the store, spend a penny on anything, we put it in and do it as a transaction in our app. And then that way, when it comes through the bank, sometimes it takes a few days to come through the bank, it links up, like it meets one another, you know, it's the same numbers, and then the bank and YNAB know that that is the same transaction. So it links them together. Uh, it, it's just amazing though. I can't, I can't say enough about it. I love it. We will, I know we will never not use it. It's just so awesome. It's kind of nice just talking in the car. Usually I'll listen to my book, but I'm kind of in between books right now. So I'm like, oh, I'll take a break and talk to you guys and bring you along on my little trip. And we'll talk about things. It, it always helps to talk about when I'm struggling and like this last week when I didn't track that one day to, to tell you guys how I felt about it because I think it will really help other new people who are just starting out on this plan to do not take that break. Just track it. Even I mean, it's fine if you want to overeat and do go over your points, but just track every, every single thing, every single thing. If you have like a bite of something, count it as like two points. That's what I usually do. If I have like a, a bite of, you know, like a couple peanuts or something thinking, oh, I'm not going to track this. I count it for two points right away off the bat. And that always helps just talking about it. So I will talk to you guys when I get back home or when I get to Starbucks, one of the two. So I'm at Starbucks right now, you guys. This woman ahead of me has the cutest puppy. You'll probably see it when I get around. I don't know if you can see him sticking out the window there. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. Um, so I got a... I ordered off the app. And when you order off the app, you can just go through the drive through and just say mobile order for carry. And then you don't have to pay because it's paid through the app and it's really nice. So if you guys don't have the Starbucks app and you go to Starbucks a lot, I recommend that. Plus you get free stuff. If you get, once you get, you get points for every dollar that you spend and you can get a free drink once in a while. So that's always helpful. Come on then. Can I, I had a mobile order for Carrie to pick up. Carrie, okay, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. This is what she does. She, she is so scared of people. She's all the way under the seat now. It takes so long to get through this drive through Pick up a Carrie. Yes, Perfect. can I get a pup cup as well? You Thank go. you so much. Have a great day. You too. Luna, I got you a pup cup. Come here, Luna. She won't come out from her hiding spot until we get on the road. So I'm sitting here holding a pup cup. So going through the Starbucks um, drive through on their app, they do list that if you are not vaccinated, to please wear a mask even through the drive-thru and I do because I like following the rules that's the kind that's the type of person I am I am not unruly I don't like to cause an issue definitely <clears throat> I just follow the rules I'm not a rule breaker and it, it's not that difficult to wear a mask I don't I don't feel I don't some people have trouble breathing but there's different types of masks like the type I have two different types of masks. One, I can't hardly breathe through, and I totally, I totally get if somebody doesn't want to wear a mask all day if they, if they feel that way because just going into the store, I can't hardly breathe. But I have this mask that I got off of Etsy, that is 
they have separate filters you put in and it's so easy to breathe through. I could wear it all day with no issues. And it's just, you know, there's masks out there that will make you be able to breathe easier. And I, like I said, I'm just, I'm not a rule breaker. I follow all the rules and I respect everybody's, like, I want to keep everybody safe. And, and I feel like I'm doing my part in wearing my mask whenever I go out. Luna, look what I got for you, baby. Yeah, you see? We try to go through Starbucks mainly because they do give dog treats out there. And we're trying to get her not to be so scared of people. I know it's it probably is too late for her because she's already four. Oh my gosh, is she four years old or is she five? I don't even know. But it time is flying by so fast having her. And it's so scary for me because thinking about her getting old and possibly having to put her down, uh, it kills me every time I think about it. Okay, so this is what a pup cup looks like. They just fill it with whipped cream. And then I have my, I have my uh, Grande. This is called a, let's see what it's called a vanilla cream cold brew and I just got a packet of stevia in there and just one pump of the creamer instead of two and I count that as four smart points so here's a receipt for the um the dog food and I got one free because I'm on my 10th bag or 12th bag I think for the dog food so let me show you how we're going to put this in YNAB Okay, I'm going to show you my YNAB app. It's in, if you look at the top of my screen, it's in the center. It has the blue Y with the little red dot next to it. So I'm going to go into that. And then in here, this is our budget. This is the fake budget. It does not look anything like our actual budget, although we have the same credit cards on there. We have the same bills on there, just the numbers are not right. So we have... This MasterCard here. It says 10169 and it's in green. What that green means is that we have that money set aside to pay this bill every month. So that's the amount that we have charged on the credit card so far. So now what I'm gonna do is show you like down here, we're gonna put the vet bill in or the vet food in here and way down here you'll see pet supplies. That is where I'm going to add that. So I'm gonna, if you look at the bottom in the center there's a little plus sign there and I'm going to press on that and then I'm going to say that bill was I think it was 79.69 something like that although this is a fake budget so it doesn't really matter and then on the payee I'm going to put pet I'm going to put um what's that place called Will you put the name of the store? I can't remember the name of the store. My goodness, I can't remember what it was. So anyway, we'll just say pet store. You can call it whatever you want. So that's what we're going to call it. You click the green, green. If you click the green, it will automatically remember that forever. And it will know where you're at too if you leave the little thing that I just clicked there on. But I turned it off because I'm not there. I'm at home. And then the category... You're going to want to put that in pet supplies so we're going to click on pet supplies here and then the category is pet supplies and then the account is mastercard which is what we use to pay for it now if you click on account you could use checking you could use any of your you got to link all your mastercards in your checking account your if you want to do your savings account you can add that on there take it out of savings whatever so we're going to go back finish this up so that it's in mastercard it's today's date and then in enter in memo down at the bottom here, we're going to click on that. And I'm just going to put pet food, a big dog, and Luna. So big dogs and Luna. And then that way we know we got bags for each of them. 
and then I'm going to click on save the transaction. See pet supplies went up to negative 79. We're over budget on that because we didn't have enough budgeted in there because this is a fake budget. So we can fix that later. But down here in the accounts, I'm not going to click on that because that's our actual money in our bank account that's trying to come through this fake budget. And so I'm not going to click on that. But that's where you would find that to clear it. And then you just click on it and then say um, enter or some, saved or something like that. I'm going to go to the budget here. And now it says, see, I have one overspent category. So I'm going to click on that. And then it will say, if you click on that, it'll say um, cover this overspending with money from. And then I can just pick something to fund it. Let's say I want to fund it with my emergency fund. So my emergency fund will go down. And then it'll say, great job, you knocked out your overspending. So that's pretty cool. But this is such a cool process. I, I mean, whoever thought of this is genius. <laughs> and there's so many YouTube videos on it. You can take classes on it for free. Everything is for free. If you go to their website, there's so many classes you can take and ask questions on how to do things and and where to do it. And they'll they'll walk you through everything. It's super easy if you have their help to do this, but it is well worth it. Definitely recommend giving this a shot. And the credit card thing is what sold us because that money is there and we know we can pay it off every single month. So we have like a thousand dollars a year that we get just from interest on these credit cards that we make. So it's amazing. So this is what is for lunch today. It's the rigatoni healthy choice. No, I'll show you the can. Four points though, for the whole entire can. This entire can is four smart points for the whole can. There is two servings in here, and for one cup is two points. Totally forgot to tape my taco, but I had two tacos, and then I'm having this as a dessert tonight. It's a cheesecake with some chocolate chips in it. Okay, let's go into our app for august 6th so i have two points left remaining to roll over my breakfast was cherry tomatoes hard boiled eggs lunch was the progresso traditional hearty hearty chicken and rotoni soup and i just press lunch and then dinner was this was the big one this was 16 points and once i added it up i'm like holy crap that was a lot so two wellness wraps six ounces of ground beef three on each taco half an ounce of mozzarella cheese on each of them and then two tablespoons of daisy sour cream one tablespoon on each so that was that really added up and then i had the yogurt and the toll house mini morsels for four so that was a six point snack but that snack is so worth the six points i'm telling you it really is so that was my my day today so i don't feel bad at all you probably noticed that I'm not doing my calories the last couple days. I will be doing another four days here coming up in the next couple days, so watch for that. I will find